Using salt can really transform our cooking. So today, we're asking our normals to taste test different dishes and approaches to see where it can really make a difference. Before we even begin, how much do we actually know about what it is and where it comes from? You've got two oh, plates. Oh, oh. Identical. However, the second plate, B, has salt. So what we'd quite like you to do is enjoy plate A, but the key here is the sea salt has been added to B. Seasoning tomatoes mm. yep. has mm. been one of the biggest revelations that I've had in the last couple of years, of just even in a sandwich. Mm -hmm. Whatever it is, just make sure a bit of salt on the tomato really brings out the flavour. As a colossal difference. It was already delicious, but that's exciting. Strong start. Yeah, one down, and is that's already but fascinating. I, but I can't think where this is going to go next. Round two. More salt in front of you, and something different under the cloche. That is a bowl tuna. of raw tuna. Try it on its own first, and then we'd like you to season it, but we really want to show the difference between if you season and it. And when it comes to seasoning quantities for something like this, how much salt are you actually using yeah. as a chef? You've got to be sensible with it. This dish just gets exciting. Beforehand, it was a delicious bowl of tuna. Now, it's jumping back out the bowl at me. Not only can I taste the olive oil, mm -hmm. I can now taste the yeah. tuna where I couldn't taste the tuna before. Number three. Bring on what you've got there is a bed of whipped ricotta, new potatoes, asparagus, and some seared steak. If you've got delicious salts at home, you can dip into them whenever you want. Fantastic. Yeah, 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 yeah. Again, it's adding texture, mm. whilst it's also seasoning, whilst it's also taking what could be the same salad you have a few nights in a, in a mm. row to different places, depending on different flavoured salts. Wow. And how long would the flavoured sauce last for? For ages and forever. Okay, this, is, this is transformative. What I like about the way that this video is going is that there's no difficult techniques involved. Absolutely it's not. Use this. <laughs> right, number four. Mm. What we've given you is some homemade flatbreads with a beetroot hummus, some cress, some cheese, and some toasted hazelnuts. The one on the left, A, have a slice of that. Quite sweet. And some pepperiness mm. from the cress. Mm. Very nice. Try a slice from flatbread too. It looks exactly the same. I'm looking for flakes of sea salt and I can't see them. No. Oh, there's lots of eyebrow raising. What are we getting? What did you do to it? It's all about where, where? you stick it. Where you put it. No It's on the way. bottom. Barry, it's on the bottom. It's Which, on the bottom. when you eat a slice of flatbread or pizza, is the first thing that hits your tongue. There's no way. The second one, the salt hits your tongue. No Thought way. experiment worked. And you get a different reaction. I didn't think it would make that much of a difference. My only problem with this is, in real life, you have to be really organised for this to work. Last one. And strong. And strong. Oh, yes! <laughs> Obviously, oh. salt is typically associated with savoury, but it doesn't have to be. Salt and chocolate. Cheers. So this is Sans salt. Yep. Oh, right. so sweet. Do your magic. Cheers. Well, cheers. Wow. That mm. is amazing, actually. Mm. Like the fact that thinking about mm. it, just this ingredient that everyone uses all the time, you don't have to do anything to it. You just put it on something and it makes a colossal amount of difference. It's still such a backwards way of thinking that something that's really sweet needs a bit of salt to help improve the flavour. Yeah. Interestingly, yeah. salt on things like fruit is also really nice. On tropical fruit, a little bit of salt in a mango lassi or a banana lassi is amazing. You can put salt around the rim of glasses in cocktails that are particularly sweet and fruit juice and with lime. What it does each time is just bring out the flavours of what is already in it. And that's what's been really fascinating about this because it just sort of accentuates the value of using yeah. the right salt in the right places. But what I also like is that we found out that it's not necessarily about the amount that you add. No. It's when you add it yeah. and where you add it yeah. as well. And we'd love to hear how you use sea salt at home. Comment down below, let us know.